So we're on our way up to Kent. It's I think it's finally going to be sunny there. Show off the beauty of our of our spot. The reason we're going up is for a wedding, a tie dye going themed to wedding. A wedding. Going to a wedding. So that'll be fun. Sugar and Falls and a wedding and lots of Kent, lots of warm, happy Kent. Let's do this. Let's get more enthusiastic. Going to Kent for or going for a wedding. We're going to Kent and my daddy's getting married. So it wouldn't really be a Maggie and Rob adventure if we weren't stuck in traffic which we are in the middle of nowhere too. middle of nowhere it's probably not the first time i feel like there's gonna be a lot more traffic yeah if we're getting stuck in traffic out here we're getting stuck in traffic everywhere so probably what this is foreshadowing is that we're also gonna have a day or two of storms because i don't remember the last time we went to kent or went on a trip and there weren't at least like one day of weather. thunderstorms we're just not meant to go anywhere yeah, maybe it's some kind of a sign that we shouldn't be together, we shouldn't travel together, or something. Or do anything together. We should just give up. I hope we have nice weather. I think we both need a life break. Some nice weather in our special place. Instantly, when you come into this place, you just feel better. I just feel better. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're on our way to the tie-dye wedding. Woo! Gonna get hitched. We no. are? No. No. Last night, we hung out with Rob's mom in Sugar and Falls. We didn't really do much Kent stuff. Kent is tomorrow. I'm very excited to show it off. Can't wait to show you guys. Yep. So here we go. Tie-dye wedding, let's do it. Bow, wow, wow, wow. Done. They're successfully <laughs> wed. Now you have two moms. You have one mom. You have a stepmom now also. Double love. Yep, double love. Well, that was fun. 
uh, hung out with the whole Hillier clan. And yeah, she's my uncle and aunt. <laughs> all your siblings were there, and your niece and nephew. Yeah, it's always good to see that. Dad. Um, so that was great. That rocket was awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you played a rocket. So, yeah, that was great. And now we're on our way back to Kent. We're going to. We're moving to Georgia this weekend. It's happening, so we're going to say goodbye to some friends around here. And that's our night tonight. And then tomorrow's Kent Day. Hanging out in Kent, showing you guys Kent. Kent Day, Kent Day, Kent Day. Never better than Kent Day. Wow. It's been gorgeous weather. But yeah. at night, it's, there's just like an exciting energy about it. Yeah. Everyone's out and about, happy. It never feels dangerous. It's a it's Sunday like, night tonight, so there's not really anything going on. But normally there's like a lot of people just like lying in the street. Really happy. It's energetic, but not like sketchy. Really comfortable place. There's the Zephyr. It's our spot, the Zephyr. Alright, the uh, Zephyr Pub. Yep, a three story bar. The patio, and it's a great bar. Zephyr Pub, Spirit. Is that Frank? I was thinking it was Frank too, but it's not. It's not Frank. <laughs> Just a guy with a beard, we're like, Frank? <laughs> There's a little spot where they have concerts. Our friend had a concert there, Madeira. Concert spot. It's awesome. We already went over this during the day. I'm excited to walk around during the day. Yeah. This will be really nice to look back on when we're in Georgia and missing it here. Uh huh. Just look at our happy video we made to together. Yeah, we'll love being on the seat cat like this. Yeah, that'll be nice. Because who knows, maybe when we come back next, it'll be changed. They're building yeah, so much stuff different. so fast. I didn't even think about that. That's positive. Now we're going to Sheets, which is one of the places you can go. It's kind of lower on the totem pole for like late night shit food. But it's definitely drunk food. But it's definitely cheap drunk food. We are not drunk. Maggie is. No. She's All I've driving. had to drink today is water. Slash, don't drink and drive. She blows. Yep, they're sheets. I personally have never eaten here. I don't know how people do. It's just like diarrhea waiting to happen. I would definitely get hardcore diarrhea if I came here. I got one of those milkshakes here with Eli, and then he and I were like allergic to it, and we were just like super oh, itchy. Yeah, I for remember the whole you night. guys were like dying. I was like, I'm <laughs> glad if I can get one of those milkshakes. I am going to have an like, allergic reaction in my throat. Milkshake. It was my whole, it was he and I, the whole bodies were just all itchy. Oh, there he goes landing. Man. This is where we spend all our days. Back in the day. <laughs> it's kind of nice that on our last day in Kent for a really long time, that's the one day that's like beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is a really pretty day. I'm happy. Our first stop is at Franklin Hall. Um, that's where I used to have my radio show, Rockin' Oldies. Oh yeah. With Black Squirrel best. Radio. I loved Rockin' Oldies. Thanks. So did my pa, which is why I got he and I special uh, BSR shirts they were selling. So I'm gonna go pick those up, and while doing that, I can show off the studio. Are they just gonna? I did Rockin' Oldies for four years with BSR. It was definitely a, a life highlight. So, gotta keep supporting the station, whether I'm there or not. That was the best. Here we are. Front campus. Front campus. Very, very pretty campus. Look at that. Oh. I'd walk down the, I slipped down those steps once and someone wanted to sue uh, the school because I slipped on ice on the steps. I was riding my bike down this hill once and like fractured my knuckle when I like flipped over my bike. I remember my first year doing BSR. I, I had the late night show, so it was like midnight to 2 a.m. because I was a newbie. 
and I was really scared to walk home alone because I was a freshman. So every time after my show, I'd have security come and walk me home. <laughs> it's dark, but this is the studio. It's where the magic. You can't see it at all. This was really important to me when I was in school. It's Black School Radio. Yay. I forget his name, but that's kind of shit. I forget his name, but. An adult swim artist threw it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Had to snatch it up for my dad and I. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. We're on our way to Wild Goats for breakfast. I went the wrong way. Old robe went the wrong way. So instead, we're accidentally visiting our old house. So I lived at Eagle's Landing for a long time, and Rob lived at the university house for a long time. Well, for a year. I moved to this place over on West Main Street for a while. So, you guys are about to see it. There it is, our house. It. it kind of looks like a castle. It's still renting. Still no one has gotten it. I wonder why. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised one goddamn bit. Fuck this house. No. Yes. Yeah, I have some good memories. Yeah. There it is. There's our old house. Like, they're good memories in that house. It was me, Rob, our friend Eli, and our friend Pell. And there were definitely good memories because of the people, but there were also god fucking terrible memories because of the house itself. There's so many different reasons why probably no one's purchased it in the year since we left. There it is. That was our old house. <laughs> horrible, horrible. So we mentioned this when we came here last time when we were eating at Tree City because that's typically our favorite go-to place. But Wild Goats is like the go-to sit-down breakfast place, but they've also got lunch and dinner. It's super, super cute. Goat themed, the food's actually bomb. Here it is, and here we are. Yay! the Kent Crown Jewel. <laughs> This is the spot. It goes on for a really long time, which is nice. There are a lot of cool places around here to bike and to walk around.
used to be covered in locks with names on them, like of couples. And Rob and I had an MFRH one that we had locked on there. And I guess they were all taken down, but that was fun. <laughs> There's some bars. There's Ray's place. Taco Tano's, Ray's, Dom's, Venice. Ray's has been here for a long time. Got good food, good beer, Taco Tano's. It's a classic tacos. place. Dominic's has the pool. Yeah. Free pool all the time. There's a Zephyr patio. Huge bar. <laughs> That's where Rob used to work. He's loving little donuts. And there's our stop, Tree City. Acorn. Yep, it's where we got our tattoos, and I got a lot of piercings with my friends. Most of which, my skin was just too sensitive for, I just couldn't take it. <laughs> Here's the tent stage. Kent stage is great. I actually was lucky enough to intern at the Kent stage, which was really awesome. It's a really cool place. It's haunted. So they do a bunch of haunted stuff. Or haunting stuff. So I was always kind of scared being in there. But it was awesome. It's a great place. I wish I'd shown more of off the wagon. A tree is everything. It's like quirkiness and fun all in one little store. I got lots of little dolls, little games. Like little toys, little gag things like fart machines. They got thinking putty. They sell cards. They've got like, I don't know, it's like epitome of Comics. quirks. My dad loved it in there. <laughs> do you want to go to May 4th or do you still want to get some ice cream? What do you think? Ice cream. What do you mean, what do I think? What do I think? I said it was because you said. Ice cream, all kinds of cute can candies, and there's a ton of popcorn. Oh, yes. Popped, popped. Great place to get your sweets and your treats and your nom noms. Late night nice drunk pizza. pizza. Yum yum.
Swenson's is super bomb. Very good fast food. It's the kind where the, the cute guys run up to your car and take your order. <laughs> it's good. I think that's like the food we're known for. Like for someone visiting. I think they come, yeah, I think they come for Swenson's. Or Ray's. Bye Zephyr. Yeah. So, when I started school, if you don't know about Kent State, and you don't know about May 4th, then you gotta brush up on your own history. But, um, so go to Google, look that up. About May 4th? I could go give on for so guides. long. Well, give them a synopsis. Basically, the National Guard on May 4th stood up there and they aimed here at defenseless students and they shot four of them dead and wounded nine others if i remember right it's been a while why were the students there they were protesting the... we had just uh invaded cambodia, cambodia. Ah. so yeah so i was in the may 4th task force for a while we put on the commemoration and i always wanted to work here at the museum which we're about to go into. So for about a year, I would ask and ask and ask. I really wanted to work with May 4th at their museum and giving people tours because I would give people tours just for fun around the site and show them everything that had happened and where and I loved it. So this is Taylor Hall. This was my building where I had classes also. Oh, so I'd have class here and then I'd go to work here and I absolutely loved it. So let's stop into the museum. One more time. Look at Blanket Hill, it's another special place. It's great to sit there, go sledding there in the winter. It's gorgeous in the fall here, so pretty. Love this whole spot. I would always make a point to walk through here when I had to go to class or leave a little early just so I can go through here. Blanket Hill, there's the bell. Here's the May 4th Visitor Center. Man, it feels really good to be here. Taylor Hall. Mm -hmm. Thanks. There's Stojo. This is like the Good. center of campus. Yeah. Such a pretty place. Oh. He's over there. What it's is he? Ross. Huh? There's a resident groundhog. It's a cross. He's cute. Good old lake hall.
came out just to say hi for this little video. It's our unofficial mascot, if you can't tell already from the black squirrels all over campus, the statues. We've got little black squirrels here. I love them. I actually helped save a baby black squirrel once. It ended up dying. It had gotten attacked by a hawk. But I did do what I could to call the right people to help them. Yeah, they've changed it a lot. I liked it better as a fountain. Yeah, me too. Okay. Another black squirrel. I like it in the hub because, oh, that's new. Yeah. I like it in the hub because that's where all the clubs were. So I would come here when I was just starting here, go to all the clubs here. I remember when I was touring schools, this one I instantly knew it was just where I had to go. Like it just felt right. But they said, I heard they had a vinyl club. And instantly I was like, oh, oh. I made a lot of great friends there. Here, those are Centennial dorms. That's Tri Towers. I lived there in a single my second year, which ruled. And yeah, heading back up to Taylor. Right up there. I lived in, not that one, the Blue House, right there. Yeah. And that was, uh, we called it the University House. It was a great time, we threw a lot of parties, had a blast. Maggie come over all the time, we'd all get drunk, we'd all throw up, we'd all pass out, we'd all have orgies, it was a great time. I never threw up, but that was like the spot was University. It was it the was. spot. It was, we threw so many parties there. Yeah. That was like, that was like my quintessential. I'm pass it again my quintessential uh, college time. This house too, too, actually. My neighbor, uh, a bunch of my friends used to live at this one. Come down here too. definitely a major highlight of my college life. Yeah, it was like, university. that year was like the most like stereotypically like college. college. This whole street too, like people would always be out on this street just like playing games in the street like soccer or football or whatever if the weather was permitting. Even it, sometimes when it wasn't, we'd go out in the snow. It wasn't, oh, it didn't have it on again. the tree then and it wasn't called yeah. the harbor it was called we had um, robot house yeah we had a big like shield emblem where that sign is now but it was uh the robot bender from futurama smoking a cigar yeah i love that we used house. to hang out on that porch these people probably think we're hardcore creeping i would just like <laughs> flop up to that house and just flop in the door like, yeah yeah it was a good environment well for college kids it was a good environment a lot of people yeah. would just drop by all the time and throughout the day and yeah we'd all just be constantly having friends over just having a good time yeah that was it well this is the end of our time at kent we're uh, heading back to the highway right now um i've had a lot of fun showing you guys everything yeah. we've had a lot of fun coming down here before we go i have a lot of you know five and a half years worth of memories of being at kent you know some of them are kind of blurry some of them are very poignant but they're all pretty good. They're all great. Even the bad ones, you know, taught me a lot over time. And I definitely loved going to school here. I loved living here while I was in school, even for the little bit that I, uh, for the little bit that I wasn't in school. You know, it was all just a really good time, really positive experience. Really been glad to show you guys, uh, uh, just where we spent a lot of our lives and being able to share this time with you. Yep, our special place where we met too. Yeah, this is like the beginning of it for uh, me and Maggie. Yep. yep. Yay! <laughs> All right, well, so long, Kent, and uh, so long for a little bit, guys. Bye. <laughs>